hello everyone i welcome you all in my channel path with priyanka so today we are moving forward with lambda function what exactly it means i will explain you and uh, how much lambda function is important uh, for working in in python or maybe any field like data scientists and all let's check it out so lambda function it is called as anonymous function anonymous means you can see this unknown function okay and basically for defining lambda functions we use lambda keyword only we do not use any other keyword okay here in this function we do not need any return statement yeah that's the plus point over here we do not need any return statement and over here we do not need worry about which name should i give to my function you can you have to use only lambda keyword that is l a m b d a okay after that we can pass multiple of arguments to this function but it will work on single expression so see this is what the syntax for it lambda arguments after that colon and whichever expression you want it to perform so first of all what we will do we will try to execute um with basic function we will simply um, what we did we have um, i tried to wrote over here one function for adding multiple in this four values okay so here i have given it name like my underscore f u n c then in parenthesis i have passed four values a b c d after that colon after that add equals to a plus b plus c plus d and we are returning that add so let's execute it this is what i am saying in lambda function we do not need to return it and we do not need to use any other variable we can use only lambda keyword after that let's execute this lamb uh, my function of that for value i am passing and this is what the answer is okay so with lambda keyword how easy it begins like you do not need to use any other keyword or like see i am simply uh, using this variable add equals to lambda after that four variable i am passing and after that this colon and i am simply saying a plus b plus c plus d after that i am printing add and passing four values in it this is as simple as here okay after that if i want square of any value how i will wrote over here simply see i will wrote over here like sqr only i will write lambda after that a after that colon after that a star star 2 because i want it's square right here i can pass any value i will pass 6 so see 6 square 36 likewise over here what i did i only use this f string for just I means representing representing it in better way like over here square equals to lambda a colon and same we have passed over here a star star 2 let's check it out the square of 12 is 144 after that what we are doing we are trying to pass arguments means multiple of values so i will uh, try to cover this arguments in another video i will make it simple and like one video for it because it consists uh, multiple of argument like uh, i will explain how there only like three four um, arguments i remember like positional default and many more for the okay. so i will make it simple for you i will make one video on that okay so we here i will just tell you that with the star args you can for arguments you have to use like a r g s and for star it means multiple of arguments so we have simply said total equals to lambda star args colon after that sum of that args sum of this args means whichever value i am passing so i have randomly passed over here value sum and let's check it out it's so so this is what and for average if we will try simply using our day to day routine like add those values and divide it by its quantity right so i have wrote over here simple that function like i have taken three values 
taken its addition and divided by three values because three values we have taken and we have simple taken average of it but with lambda function it make made more easy for us like lambda we have passed that variable over here a b c after that colon and whichever expression you want to perform on that you can rotate over here and just perform it so like i will rotate average and print it so here i have to pass value right so see i will take the larger value so it will be more beneficial for us like um, see it will give us so see average of the three value is 20.33 this much of easy with the help of this lambda function you have to just use lambda after that any means if you are taking two variables you have to rotate it over here after that colon after that which operation you want to perform on that if you want to multiply this both you can just rotate it like this and just we will store it in art okay this is how you can do after that you can pick this art and pass this two values okay Let's check this much of easy way by using lambda so I hope you understood uh, stay tuned for more videos in next video uh, what I will try this arguments topic we will try to cover it okay so this is also uh, let me explain you something about it it is also quite easy topic uh, we have four type of arguments and I will try to cover it in very short and sweet way so you can understand it very easily okay uh, stay tuned thanks for watching uh, if you are not yet subscribe to my channel subscribe hit the like button if you like the way I explain all the things and stay tuned and one more thing take care bye see you soon in next video bye